Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings and this is video number 25. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Loop Learnings. If you are returning, welcome back. Either way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload new video. Okay, so this is the continuation of the previous video. So if you haven't watched that, I would strongly recommend you to watch that as well. To those who are coming first time to my channel, uh, welcome again. And we are working on uh, making the payroll management system. This is going to be a very basic application on making uh, the changes or making the payroll management system. Okay, so what we are going to do in this video, in previous video, if you have watched, um, yeah, we kind of did the binding of the sub menu with the main menu. What do I mean? If I click here, we get different objects appear on our screen and based on our selection, uh, the captions of these objects are changed. Uh, same, likewise, we do with the earnings. So for example, uh, now the buttons, controls, and their captions are changed according to our selection from the main menu. So this is what we did in the previous video. In this video, I'm, I want to demonstrate how to use SQL queries and fetch the data from the tables or queries and uh, display it on the list boxes. That's what I'm going to do in this video, which means I'm going to click on any of these control. And if I click on any of this control, for example, if I let's, let's, you know, let's start with profile button. So if I click on profile, the data should be fetched from query or table of the employee profile and should be presented here. Same with the earnings. If I click on bonus, then the data should be fetched from the bonus table or query and should be presented here. That's what we are going to do. Okay, so let's quickly go to the design view. And in here, I'm going to click on button one. But before we do that, we quickly see what have we got okay so if we go to the employee profile we have this um, table that stores the information uh, and in this table we have you know we want location not the location id we want department not the department id and likewise with the role and not the role ID, which means I will prefer to have a query created. So we'll go to the create button, or create tab. We'll go to the query design. We'll close this property sheet and we get the employee profile. Okay. And we were going to design the query. So we'll take employee ID, employee name, mobile, official email. Uh, let's fetch information from location table. Where is location? Should be here. Yeah. So we get the location. Then in a location, we have a department. So we get department. And we have a rules table as well, I guess. Where is rule? Okay. Do we have rules table or not? Rules. Yeah, we do have. Oh, it's hidden here. <laughs> I was wondering where is the role table. Okay, anyway, so we got the department and we got the role and last we got the status. Okay, we go to the data sheet view and we are presented nicely with the information that we are looking for. Okay, we save this query and we call it employees Q. All right, Q stand for query. Right. So we want this information to be presented on our list box right here. Okay, to do that, we go to the button and click on that. Go to the design property sheet of the button. Go to the event tab. Click on dot, dot, dot. Code builder. Okay, and here we are. All right. Now, we'll start with if me.txt main menu, txt menu dot value is equal to employees you'll be thinking hold on what are you doing okay 
why I forget then always end if. So you'll be thinking, hold on, what are you doing here? Okay, let me explain you that, what I'm doing. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video, if you haven't seen, you should watch. That's what I said at the start. So if you have seen the previous video, in that I explained that one button is going to be used for multiple purposes, which means one button is going to be used to fetch multiple kind of information data. So we need to be very sure what is clicked from the main menu. In this case, if we click on employees button and we are presented with menu as employees menu is clicked on. So we, that's why we need to refer to the main menu. You got that? Okay, uh, I'm sure you got that. It's very easy. Now, next, what we are going to do once we define that, next we will look at the list box and particularly we'll look at how do we uh, okay, let's change the name from, let's keep it because otherwise we'll get other errors. Um, we will look at the row source, okay? So we'll say me dot list dynamic search dot row source equals. This is where we will use the SQL statement, the SQL statement, structured query language statement, and particularly the select statement. So we use select and now access is shouting back uh, back at us and asking hey what do you want me to select and we'll say okay don't shout please first of all um uh, we want you to select all the columns right there are situations when you don't have to use all the column when you don't have when you don't have to fetch all the columns so you just fetch you know one or two columns or three columns max but in this situation, we are fetching everything, whatever we have got in this query. So for that, easy way we have is using asterisk signs. So select asterisk or star um, from which table or query. That's what we need to tell Microsoft Access. So now Access is shouting again. We'll tell again, hey, Microsoft Access, don't shout, please. We are going to tell you from where you are going to fetch all the information. So mics of access please use employees queue query and employees queue all right where okay where status is active now if you don't use where clause that's okay but I would suggest to use it because if you are going to use this application in a production environment then you will have people coming in and leaving as well so if the employee status is inactive, that will also appear in the list box. And if you don't want that to happen, then you put in a where clause. So where clause, where status equals, yeah, single, um, come on, I should know the name, uh, single code. Okay, thank you. Where single code, uh, where the status is active. Okay, now SQL statement will go in the table, will crawl in there and will find all the records that are status active and will present it on the list box. Great. Okay, now next we need to look at some properties of the list box. So we'll say me dot list time search dot column count. Remember there are so many columns in this query. So how many columns? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight so we have got eight column in here okay next we will define another property and that is me dot list search dynamic search dot column heads so heading is basically we are saying true which means this is the heading okay next me dot list dynamic search dot column widths with s because you're uh, talking about the multiple columns here. So that's why you need to define the width of each column with S, okay? And double quote, double quote, and in it you define. So let's start with the first column. We do need the first column. First column is very important, but we don't want to see that on our, the li on our list box. So therefore we'll keep it hidden. So we'll say uh, zero centimeter, first column, okay? Next, 
employee name it can be a little wider so we'll say okay so maybe 3.5 centimeters at the moment all right we can change it later on mobile let's just say 2.5 centimeters okay uh, official email let's just say 3.5 centimeters location uh, 3 centimeters or 3.5 depending on you know you can choose that department I'll keep 3 centimeters and oops there's an error here okay a roll will keep it as 3 centimeters and status will keep it as 2 centimeters okay again we can change the width later on but let's just go and see how it is working or is it working or not right so we'll go to the employee master data and we'll click on profile boom we get what we want okay now you do have a scroll bar you might not be able to see it but you have to scroll bar to scroll right and left if you don't like that then you can adjust the sizes width of the column and it should get adjusted but this is what I want to demonstrate. I wanted to demonstrate how you use the SQL statements and you fetch the information. Now let's go ahead and let's uh, do the VB coding behind uh, the same button, but for something else. So at this time, we'll click on manage earnings. Now this button is called bonus magic. So we click on this button and we should get the bonus information, uh, information from the bonus table or query onto this list box so let's do that go to design view we don't have any uh, query called bonus and so we'll go to the bonus table it's a good idea to create a query so we'll create a query by going to the um, uh, tab query uh, create and and then we'll click on query design we'll close the property sheet we'll double click on the bonus and say bonus id and we'll get the employees information from employee profile. So I get the table for that. So employee name, then we get the bonus type, probably description, uh, fiscal year, fiscal month. It's a good idea to get that probably. If you don't want, you can you know leave that and we get the bonus amount. So your data sheet view, it's empty because there's no data in the table itself. So we'll save that. So we'll call it bonus Q. Okay. Oh, not bonus at the rate. We call it bonus Q. All right, Q. Okay. We open this queries because we are going to refer to it. So we click on the same button. Go to design, property sheet, even tab, dot, dot, dot. And in here, this time we'll start with else if me.txt menu is equal to uh, this time it's called earnings okay then if the earnings then me.list dynamic search dot rosos equals select and this time we'll select everything from what is the table name bonus q okay so bonus q will select everything from in here all right me dot list dynamic search dot column count so we'll repeat that same so how many count how many columns zero one two three four five six so seven columns okay and then we'll say me dot list dynamic search dot column heads heads with heads is equal to true and then we will define the width mirror the list time research dot column widths okay and we start with the width again bonus id is important but we don't want to see it and so we will hide it with zero centimeter colon employee name let's keep it as you know 4.3 centimeters something like that bonus type let's keep it as 2.5 centimeters or perhaps three centimeters guys if you're hearing background noise i'm sorry for that okay 
description uh, let's keep it like 3.5 centimeters uh, fiscal year let's keep it two centimeters and fiscal month also two centimeters and amount as 2.5 centimeters okay that is it that's what we had to do so let's close that let's close it let's test it out because no data will be presented but of course the heading should be changed so uh, profile and we get this information we go to the manage earning button and we click on bonus and boom we have the headings here which tells us that the uh, SQL statement works very well although it doesn't have any data because we have not created any information so there you go I wanted to demonstrate in this video that how you can use the same button and you can use it dynamically to fetch different kind of information and present it on the table or form or uh, not table sorry form or list box etc so I hope that you have learned something I I hope that you have liked it whatever you have seen if you have learned if you have liked please click on like button help uh, the YouTube to understand that this is a valuable content and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload any video well thanks very much for watching uh, until the next video bye bye